video and I don't think I'm a little too late because a lot of public schools are going back to school but I would just like to show you guys some back to school hacks that I have found really really helpful to me. I have been in school for about at least a week and a half now and I am a junior in high school which means I have one more year until I walk across that stage. But no matter if you're going to middle school or you're starting high school or you're starting college well I'm not really sure about college but some of these hacks work for that. Um, hopefully these hacks will help you throughout your day. Um, so let's get to the video. So the first hack that I realized has been really helpful is um, setting an alarm. Me personally, I cannot set an alarm because it doesn't help me. I wake up angry because I don't like the sound or whatever. So you can either set an alarm to a twinkling sound, but just make sure that you're not a person that will sleep through that. Or set an alarm without a sound but a vibration. Put it under your pillow and then sleep. Another hack is for studying. Um, studies have shown that this really works and at my school my teacher actually gave us gum during our exams because it kind of helps. If you chew a flavor gum while you're studying for your exam and then you go and chew that same gum during your exam, it's proven that it will kind of help you uh, remember what you were studying. Just make sure that if you're chewing it during your exam, if your school doesn't allow gum, make sure that you're being discreet. One thing about me is that I always try to tell myself, don't forget this, don't forget that. So if you're like me and you have that, you can be decorative with it and get post-it notes and write on those post-it notes, put them around your house. If you're reading a essay or your teacher gives you a long, long article to read, sometimes it gets tiring to look at those little letters for a long, long period of time, depending on how long you're reading or how long it takes you to read. So if you have a Mac, I'm not sure about other computers, but you can just select the text and kind of double click with both your fingers and it'll say speaking. And then if you click that, it'll start reading to you. Um, I try not to use this all the time so I don't get lazy with my reading, but it helps sometimes with long articles. <laughs> Studies have also shown that notes are easier to remember when they're decorated and things like that because it just makes more sense. Teens and kids, they remember more things when they're bright and colorful. That's why we have like colors and all of that, decorations, all those things. So when you're taking notes, if it's a lot in your class, try to alternate colors if you have colored pens. They sell them at a lot of stores, literally any store that you go to that has school supplies will have colored pens for the most part. One thing about me is that when I come in from school and I do my homework, I get distracted from my phone. Um, usually after I eat, I'm on my phone and then I'm on my phone for at least an hour. I can be on my phone all night and I will not like do my homework until the morning. So, go on your phone while you're eating, that's fine, but then when you get ready with, ready to start your schoolwork, turn your phone on airplane mode. It will not allow any notifications or anything like that, and that will really help um, doing your homework. And then right after that, make sure you turn it back on. This is a really big problem for me, is that I'll charge my phone when I wake up, and my phone will be like on 100%. But then when I get to school, it's like about to die and it's not good to have like a dead phone when you're in school because for emergency purposes, you need a charge phone and things like that. So it helps to put your phone on low power mode, that helps. Or also just clear out all of your data cookies. I think that's what they call them. So basically you double tap, tap on your home screen if you have an iPhone and you can just swipe up and clear all of those out. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big old thumbs up. Comment down below if you want me to do more types of videos like these. I really love the whole beauty guru type of beauty influencer type of style video with heavy saturation and all the edits and music. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Also check out my previous videos and check out all of my social media down below in the description. Also follow me on Instagram. Subscribe, become a king or a queen, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.